Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Hello again everybody. Uh, welcome to another video. It's uh, Sunday, June the 30th. Uh, it's about quarter to five in the evening. I've just arrived at my rabbit permission. A bit breezy tonight. So I'm gonna keep the distance down to about 30, 35 yards maximum if I can. Um, that's why I've parked the car here. I'm gonna be targeting this area um, across this bit. But I've parked the car here because uh, there's a bit of a breeze left to right. You can probably tell from the microphone. Um, so I'll put it, but it's sort of like a 30 meter radius across from there to sort of there um, with the wind to, from my left. Let's see how it got on. There's nothing out at the minute, but it's still a bit early. I'll just sort of get in and get set up. A um, little bit of new gadgetry. I've got the remote control for the X-Site. It's called the X-Track. Um, basically what it does is it replicates the buttons connects by Bluetooth replicates the buttons that are on top of the scope those four buttons there lets you um, trigger the recording by pressing that one and that one uh, is like photo you've got menu button it's also got a handy scroll wheel so you can scroll with it without reaching up to the scope which is handy especially when you're on the bipod that's why I've mounted it on velcro at the back because obviously I'm gripping the gun with my right hand and the left hand is under the bipod supporting it like that so I can just reach up and click the record when I'm waiting and I can zoom in and out with the wheel with my left hand it should be handy when I'm on the crows as well because I did notice that uh, even when the land is so alert that even the, your left hand reaching up on top of the scope can scare them off so when I'm crow shooting what I'll do is I'll attach it here on the bottle because it comes with a couple of velcro straps that go around the bottle so when I'm holding the gun like that I could just use the wheel here and the buttons to trigger it um, to start the recording going so it should help because you don't have to do any movement while you're waiting to line your shot up okay and also I've done the same thing with the dream line but on a much cheaper scale being as that was 80 pounds that remote which if you're listening ATN probably really should come in the box with the thousand pound scope there you go that's my gripe um, I've got the side shot with the iPhone on the uh, Dreamline again and I went on eBay and I had a similar idea whether I could do the same thing and for £2.95 delivered there's a little Bluetooth remote control so you connect that to your iPhone and then all you do is click the button there it starts it recording on the app and then you click it again to stop it recording but that's the same principle that's why I've mounted it there you basically just click with your left hand while you're supporting your uh, stock and you don't have to keep reaching up to press the button on the top of the phone which also doesn't help because you could actually knock the phone out of alignment if you're not careful with the scope so that's that low-tech version of that which was like 77 pound cheaper or whatever it was but it still works so i'll take it so i'm going to start using the dreamline first the jsb heavies get set up and if anything will come out for a while i'll get set up and get quiet and hopefully uh be able to bag something if i stay later on i've got the uh rangefinder mounted on the impact with the x-site 
and uh, might be able to take something when it starts to get dark. Okay, I've, um, as a side note, I've ordered the tactical kit for the Dreamline. So the next time you see it, it probably won't be a light, it'll probably a dream, be a Dream Tactical, which gives me the Picatinny rail instead of the uh, dovetail rail. And also gives me the option, and I've ordered an AR-15 style adjustable stock that's got um, clip-on cheek risers on it. So hopefully that'll, uh, that'll be on it next time you see it. And make it a much more suitable gun because that means I can easily swap the X sight on its Picatinny mounts over to the Dreamline and uh, vice versa. So I can get, I've got some uh, um, sports match Picatinny mounts already, 30mm. So I can swap scopes between the guns quite straightforward enough. I've also ordered the um, um, side shot magazine which is now in stock in Crail, the Crail gun shop, I'll put a link below, uh, in Holland, uh, £42 for that, but it's the um, Crown Stroke Dreamline version of the side shot mag that fits in the impact, slightly smaller, uh, 22 shot I believe in 177, um, same function though where you twist the cap, uh, twist the centre sorry, lift the cap off, load it, put it back on, um, better than the horrible Theoban style mags that you get with the Crown and the Dreamline. Apparently the Dreamline's going to start shipping with him anyway as standard from now on so when they start to arrive soon um, people should be happier than with the old style magazines. Okay let's get set up, keep his mouth shut and see if we can get anything. See you soon. Okay I've got set up now I'm just doing a bit of zero in check and seeing how much the wind's affecting the pallet it's about half a mil dot so what I've done is I've uh, corrected the windage on the scope to allow for it so if the wind stays roughly the same which it did um, it should be just about right the first one's out a couple of them actually take that one 30, just over 35 yards to the fence the other one scarpers next one I must apologise for the uh, iPhone, it decided to uh, focus itself uh, on nothing, so I'll keep an eye on that in the future and lock the focus. Um, but I've got a pair of ears sticking out of the grass. I've just seen somewhere, there's one on the right there, look, and then there's a pair of ears just there. But I don't want to be uh, shooting through the grass. So I'm just sitting, waiting, just to see if it'll sort of jump forward give me a bit more of a view and I think I've just noticed one to my left uh, there's a tree and I'm sure I'd, I remember thinking that I saw one in the corner of my eye run in line with the tree so I'm sort of watching that and waiting for that one to come out so give it a minute see what it does will it come out this is the one I know I've seen one I've just seen one where the tree is but it must be behind the tree so here it comes give me a bit more that's more like it sit up a little bit more for the wind take the shot that's at uh, about 30 yards there. That's another one down. You can see a pair of ears and just sits up enough. Just take him through a dandelion as well, just for good measure. sit and wait about another half an hour now they're all the same size youngsters um, must be almost the same litter no adults about at all and he's on the hedge line see the winds picked up a little bit I'm just going to give it another half a mil dot for the wind I 
that's that, so that's that one. And I've just noticed, I think to my right, there's another one. Where's he gone? Ah, uh, there we are. And then there's another. So I'm just deciding which one. So I need to see a bit more than that. Because there's a bit of a rise and a fall in the land, so there's sort of not much of one, but enough for a rabbit to hide in. That's more like it. I'd like to see plenty there. That's that one. The other one doesn't get far. A bit of windage and a little bit of hold over, and that's him down. The sun's really shining in the scope now because it's uh, setting just above the uh, hedge. Finally, bunny number seven, 20 yards, just over the rise in front of me. Not bad, and considering the conditions. Here, you can see the digging and the damage that we're doing. This is why. It doesn't matter how old they are, they've got to go. It's pest control, not hunting for the pot. So they've all got to go. Okay, get packed up, get the impact out. Okay, I had a quick walk around the corner. This is on the X site now, on the uh, impact. Uh, this is an out infamous nettle bank from before. As you can see, the ones I took before, there's still plenty more left. So I thought I'd have a quick look. I'm not going to shoot at these about 100 yards away. It's on 20 time zoom, this is. So time to jump in the car was around there. 9.30, still using the day mode on the XI. It's a really good camera on it. It, it sees better in the dark than you do, even in colour mode. Um, so even shooting after 10 o'clock no problem without the infrared well there's the first one 38 yards nice straight kill the wind's really dropped now as well so uh, it's not too bad at all there's a little bit of a breeze there's a little rattle on the microphone but it picks up more than it should you can see the nettles are barely moving in the background if anything and there's a doe out at 36 yards a straightforward shot. Four feet in the air, that's normally a good sign. Okay, next one, 36 yards, should have been nice and straightforward. After I've pinged it correctly. Not 36, 43. There we are. And a miss. God only knows what happened there. Must have been a flyer. Just sailed over his head. Strange. This one I nearly forgot to press record. But got him anyway. 42 yards. That was the last one of the night. So a nice little bag there. The impact in the dream line. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. See you next time.